An anime physique consists of broad shoulders, a wide back, and a proportionately ripped body with a narrow waist. While it is hard to appear exactly like that, you can attain a comparable frame. The V-taper is everything. A V-taper indicates a high shoulder-to-waist ratio. A V-taper appearance enhances the aesthetic appeal of your figure, and I'm telling you guys, it's possible. Here is what you should do, but before we get started, please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Lean Bulking There is a lot of misunderstanding about bulking to achieve the ideal physique. I hate to break it to you, but dirty bulking will not result in a V-trim look. I repeat, eating excessive amounts of fat and carbohydrates will not bring you where you want to go. You don't get a V-taper body by lifting and eating heavily. Instead, you should maintain a caloric deficit of approximately 250 to 500 calories per day. Consume healthy fats such as avocado and fatty fish in moderation, as well as nuts and seeds, and carbohydrates such as brown rice, oats, and whole grain cereals. These nutrients help to gradually develop that physique. Rushing to put on mass results in the blocky opposite of a V-taper, you do not want to train like a bodybuilder. Thick back. You must develop a broad, wide back to achieve a high back-to-weight ratio. Pull-ups are a great exercise for wide backs. Try to incorporate as many as your body can handle, and if they are too easy for you, start with weighted pull-ups. When utilizing the lat pull machine, always utilize an underhanded grip to enhance lat activation. If you truly want to feel your lats tighten, Use a mag grip with the rocking pull-down approach. This will increase the intensity of your back contraction, resulting in a speedier outcome. This means abduction and extension of the machine just behind the body. Face pulls, wide grip pull-ups, and deadlifts are also guaranteed to build you a wider back. Shoulders, I've said it before in other videos, excellent 3D shoulders make you look more attractive than any other muscle group. Concentrate on the front and back delts to ensure general shoulder growth. Aside from exercises like dumbbell, shoulder press, lateral raises, front raises, and inclination pressing activities that help with definition, integrate overhead barbell presses and rear delt workouts into your routine on a regular basis. Overhead presses not only strengthen your shoulders, but also exercise your core muscles. Focusing on the rear delt significantly improves the fullness of your shoulders and back. Waist, a V-taper physique is distinguished by a narrow waistline, and, no, completing ABS workouts will not result in a small waist. You must be lean. You want to lose 10 to 14% of your body fat. To do this, you should create a calorie deficit of 250 to 500 calories while also meeting your protein objective of 1 gram per pound of body weight, or 2.2 grams per kilogram. Focus on exercises that strengthen your transverse abdominal muscles, such as stomach vacuums, side planks, and hollow holds. If you have particularly wide shoulders and back, it will give you the illusion of a smaller waist. The V-taper may appear difficult to produce, yet it is feasible. You just have to do the work. Maintain consistency. That is it. Check out the other videos on this channel about how to develop an appealing body.